Welcome to the Using Active Record with Sinatra screencast. In this episode, we'll show you how to build a URL shortener in Sinatra. If you're new to Sinatra, we recommend you watch our Introduction to Sinatra screencast before watching this video. We'll also be using Hamel in our views, so we recommend getting up to speed with our Introduction to Hamel screencast. To get Sinatra working with Active Record, we could do it the long way by configuring it all up ourselves and writing the migrations ourselves, but that would take quite a while. Thankfully, Blake Mazerny, the creator of Sinatra, has provided a gem that will get you up and running in a couple of minutes. The gem is called Sinatra Active Record. Sinatra Active Record extends Sinatra to use Active Record and provides helpful rake tasks. Currently, there are two rake tasks provided. There is DB Create Migration for creating migrations, and the familiar DB Migrate for running migrations. We'll go into the setup and usage for both later in this video. First, let's get Sinatra Active Record installed. We need to install the gems Active Record, Sinatra Active Record, and SQLite 3 for our database. Now that they're installed, we need to set up our rake file. To do this, let's first create our app.rb, then we'll require Sinatra and Sinatra Active Record. Then, we'll make a rake file and require our app and Sinatra Active Record rake, which includes DB Create Migration and DB Migrate in our list of available rake tasks. So when we run rake t in our console, we see both tasks are now available. Now that we've got this set up, let's create our first model, shortened URL. So let's type in rake db create migration and hit return. As you can see, we need to pass in a name option with the name of our migration. In our case, let's pass in name equals create shortened URLs. As you can see, it's created a db migrate folder with our migration in it. Now, let's write our up and down migration code. In self.up, we want to create the table shortened URLs with the string URL. Let's also be sure to add an index on URL. Now to self.down. While Sinatra Active Record doesn't have a DB rollback task at the moment, it's always good to get in the habit of doing so. So we want to drop the table shortened URLs on rollback. So when we run rake db migrate, you'll see the migration run fine and it creates a development.db database with the table shortened URLs. You can manually roll back by going into IRB, requiring app, and then the migration path. Then call down on the migration class. In our case, create shortened urls.down. And as you can see, the table is dropped. Let's go up again and move on. Okay, in our app.rb, let's create our shortened URL model. This is done in our app.rb file by typing class shortened URL and then inheriting from Active Record Base. We can include validates uniqueness of and validates presence of too, just like you'd expect in Rails. We should also add a regular expression to validate the format of the URL. We found a regular expression on John Gruber's Daring Fireball blog, but we've had to tweak it a little to fit our example a bit better. We'll include it in the show notes. So that's all we need for our model. Now to our routes. First, we'll create a get route for our root path for when people visit the site. We'll also create a post route to create our shortened URL. We'll also create a get route to forward people from the shortened URL to their destination. Let's create a named parameter called shortened. Let's assume for the time being that the ID of our saved shortened URL is the shortened version of our URL. So let's find our shortened URL with our shortened parameter, which is its ID. Now, let's redirect to the short URL's URL. Now that we have our redirection code, let's add some view files. Let's create a views folder and include a layout. We'll include a very simple crude layout. Okay, now let's create an index view. In here, let's create a form that posts to the root with a label for URL and a text input for the URL. 
Finally, we'll add a Submit button. Let's not forget to add Haml index inside of our get route block for the root path. Now, in our post route block, let's write the code for finding or creating our shortened URL. So short URL equals shortened URL dot find or create by URL params URL will either find or create a new short URL. If short URL is valid, then we show the success view. If not, let's show the index again. Okay, so let's create a success.haml file, and in it, let's include our shortened URL. Let's go back to our index and add an error message. If short URL is present and short URL is not valid, then let's inform the user that they've entered an invalid URL. Okay, so let's try it out. As you can see, if we type in something invalid, we see the error message appear. And if we type in a valid URL, like screencasts.org, we see the shortened URL. Let's copy and paste this address into our address bar, hit return, and as you can see, it forwards us to screencasts.org. All right, so our code is working, but this isn't much of a URL shortener since when we get to the ID of 10, our URL will increase by one character. What we can do to prevent this premature lengthening of the URL is to convert our ID into a base 62 string. Base 62 uses letters and numbers to write numbers with less characters, since we have all 26 letters, upper and lower case, with the 10 digits 0 through 9, all at our disposal. 26 uppercase letters, plus 26 lowercase letters, plus 10 numbers, equals 62. That means our URL won't increase by one character until we reach the 62nd URL. After that, our URL won't increase by one until the 3844th URL is added, as that is 62 squared. So using base 62 scales well. Another benefit from using base 62 is that since the characters are all alphanumerical, we won't have any problems with the shortened URLs. To encode integers into base 62 strings, we can use a gem called alpha decimal. This gem allows you to call dot alpha decimal on integers to convert them to base 62 strings. The reverse is also true. If you call alpha decimal on a string, you get an integer returned. So let's install alpha decimal using the command sudo gem install alpha decimal. Now let's require it in our app.rb. Let's add a shorten method to our shortened URL where we convert the ID to a base 62 string. Then in our success view, let's change ID to shorten. Now we need to create a class method on shortened URL to find it by the base 62 string. We'll call this method find by shortened. We'll pass in a string shortened and then convert it back to the integer ID by calling alpha decimal. Then we just need to find that ID. Finally, we just need to update our redirect route block so instead of a simple find, we replace it with find by shortened. And that's it. If we go back to our browser and enter a few more URLs, we see the base 62 URLs being shown. And if we copy and paste them, we find that they redirect correctly too. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our RSS feed, follow us on Twitter, and please leave any comments, questions, or suggestions for new screencasts in the comments below. If you like our videos and think your friends, followers, or colleagues would benefit from seeing them, please feel free to share via any of the links below the video. We really appreciate your support. See you next time.